Hello, my name is Anna Falvey from Long Beach High School, and um, today I will be performing one of Harper's monologues from Tony Kushner's Angels in America. Night flight to San Francisco. Chase the moon across America. God, it's been years since I've been on a plane. When we hit 35,000 feet, we'll have reached the tropopause, the great belt of calm air. As close as I'll ever get to the ozone, I dreamed we were there. The plane leapt the tropopause, the safe air, and attained the outer rim, the ozone, which was Ragged and torn, patches of it threadbare as old cheesecloth, and that was frightening. But then I saw something only I could see because of my astonishing ability to see such things. Souls were rising. From the earth far below, souls of the dead, of people who've perished from, from famine, from war, from the plague. And these souls were rising up from the earth like skydivers in reverse, and the souls of these departed joined hands, clasped ankles, and formed a net, a great web of souls, and these souls were three atom oxygen molecules of the stuff of ozone, and the outer rim absorbed them and was repaired. Nothing's lost forever. In this world, there's a kind of painful progress, longing for what We've left behind and dreaming ahead. At least, I think that's so. Thank you. And um, my second monologue will be one of Mabel's monologues from Oscar Wilde's An Ideal Husband. Well, Tommy proposed to me again today. Tommy really does nothing but propose to me. Tommy proposed to me last night in the music room when I was really quite unprotected as there was an elaborate trio going on. I didn't dare to make the smallest repartee, I need hardly tell you. If I had, it would have stopped the music at once. Musical people really are so absurdly unreasonable. They always want one to be perfectly dumb at the very moment one is longing to be absolutely deaf. And Tommy proposed to me again this morning in front of that dreadful statue of Achilles, Honestly, the things that go on in front of that statue are absolutely appalling. The police should interfere. I saw by the glare of his eyes that Tommy was going to try and propose to me again today at luncheon, though I managed to check him in time by assuring him that I was a bimetallist. Fortunately, I don't know what bimetallism means, <laughs> and I don't believe anybody else does either. But the observation crushed Tommy for ten minutes. He was quite shocked. And then... Tommy is so annoying in the way he proposes. If he were to do it at the top of his voice, I should not mind so much as it might produce some effect on the public, but he does it in this horrid, confidential way. When Tommy wants to be romantic, he talks to one just like a doctor. I am very fond of Tommy, but his methods of proposing are quite out of date. I wish, Gertrude, that you should speak to him and tell him that once a week is quite often enough to propose to anyone and that it should always be done in a manner that attracts some attention. Thank you.